Only Casta Semenya and Nian Saba have won Diamond League 800s this year. So could we get a new winner here? Lindsay Sharp started pretty quickly in lane three. Just waiting for the pacemakers. On the outside, it started very slowly, it has to be said. She's going to have to get going to get herself across and into the lead. Buchel trying to push her way through as well. Melissa Bishop just following Nian Saba and Jep Koskai. Well, she's either pacing this really well, and I think she may well be, finally coming across, but she's meant to take the lead and is actually struggling to get there. Nian Saba then gives way and uh, takes the inside line. With Jep Koskai for a pacemaker. Tim looks as though she's sort of struggling to run a 58 first lap here, so they're all bunched up behind her. Well, I must admit, Steve, I was surprised when that 58 second halfway time was announced because I thought it was on the slow side. And they are going to go through a little bit quicker than that, I think. And I'm not surprised these women are sharpened up and ready for something much quicker. And 57.95, well, it's, it's almost spot on, but it is on the conservative side. So, so many of them. And look at Bishop being forced wide. Melissa Bishop being forced by by the pacemaker who, yes, was asked to go to 600, but she's not going quick enough and needs to get out of the way there. She is just getting in the way as others have to try and get past her. Buchel on the inside, Lindsay Sharp having to squeeze through as well. Eunice Sum has taken up a much better position. Peshepa also hovering. So Nian Saba, 200 to go, 128.65. Bishop on her shoulder, looking very dangerous. Nian Saba's very strong in the home straight though, but she's going to have to hold them off here. Bishop just a meter behind, Eunice Sum trying to attack on the outside, Buchel will take the inside line, but Nian Saba, the Olympic silver medalist, kicking away, Lindsay Sharp finishing quickly on the outside, she's not going to catch Nian Saba, but might get second, although Sum is just about going to hang on, Nian Saba wins it, Sum second, Lindsay Sharp in third, 157.8, the winning time, well a pretty straightforward race really, Nian Saba would have been the pre-race favourite, as I said, only she and Casta Semenya have won Diamond League races this year, the top two in the world. A better run by Eunice Sum there, and Lindsay Sharp doing what she's done so often this year, judging her effort pretty well, and getting a well-deserved third place. And to be honest, after all of the excitement out in, uh, in Rio, as I said, a, a pretty standard 800, Tim. Well, it was, Steve, but it's uh, not hanging about, is it? 157 for these athletes, 157.71 officially for Neom Saba. But again, Steve, it was a middle distance race where they allowed the favourite, and she has to be the favourite, the Olympic silver medalist, the quickest of that field, the world number two, to a control affairs. I mean, why let